we sing this for you and for our city and our country right now. Lord bless you and keep you. Make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn This is put your heart, surrender to God, and He'll give it to you right now. The Lord bless you and keep you. Make His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn His face toward you and give you peace. If you want this, say amen with us and receive it for your life by faith.
speak this over our lives. God, we speak it for those, God, who aren't. We speak it for those. We are not calling you just to bless us so life can get easier. God, we are calling right now for the church to awaken. We ask, God, that you awaken the church to bless your name, to be a blessing, because we know the point of being blessed is not just to be happy. It's about being a blessing. So, God, may the church respond right now with, by the blessing that we have in you. May we respond by being a blessing to you and being a blessing to those. And, God, I pray those right now, Lord, for every generational God, I mean, we see it in the world. There's such unrest. There's no peace. That we have a, a, a country, a nation crying out for peace. But they can't, they're not going to find the true essence until they find you, the Prince of Peace. It's only you, God, that you can establish and fix the problem in the human heart. And God, we speak and we bind and we break generational curses over our nation right now. God, that we may be a generation that rises up and that it says it ends with us, it stops here, that we will not let pass this on again. God, may, may that blessing come, come over us that we may go, Lord, to, to set those captives free, mental, emotional, spiritual, in the name of Jesus. God, we receive it in Jesus' name, and we thank you, God, that the peace that you give us, the peace that you give us is meant to destroy the work of the enemy in this world, to bring peace to those who are dying and lost. God, breathe in to us so that we, God, use us to breathe life into this world, into this country. In Jesus' name, we pray these things. We believe these things. And when we say and when we end our prayer right now, amen, we are declaring this. Everything we've, that you have spoken to us is true. And what we have now declared is true. And it is truth. And we put our faith right now in you. God, that you, God, may be not just a blessing to us, that we may be a blessing to the world. And we declare right now that the world will never be the same again. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Listen, amen. If, there's, if you are proud and you're glad of what God's doing in your life, and you're proud of what God is doing in you, if you believe he's going to do it in our nation, in our country, then say amen again. Point amen. Write amen in the chat. Believe it. Believe it. Because this is our time. This is God's time in us and through us that we have this rest for our souls. And we declare this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And amen. Come on now, let's just praise God, church. Praise God right now. Praise God, church. Listen. There's a lot of work. There's a lot of work in this world that needs to get done. There's a lot of work that needs to get done. And I believe that's why God is calling us to learn how to rest so we can go the long haul, so we can do what is necessary. When we learn how to rest, God changes us. And you know what happens when he changes us? The world changes. It starts with us. It starts with us.